What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we gotta sell these daggum potatoes that we did yesterday. It is just, oh my goodness. And I know people have been saying in the chat, been super supportive, been like, you can do it. Just, you know, focus and take the time. And I don't wanna. <laughs> so we're gonna get rid of them. There you go, $20,000 in potatoes. That's what I think about that. So we've got that done. Now, what I wanna do, is we've got another tractor that we got updates for. So I want to go not only get that, but we got a new truck. We got an update for the man truck. So I want to buy that for the farm and see how well we can get along with it. It may take the place of this tipper right here. It may not. We shall see. I know the tall tipper does not like to work very well with things, so we may be getting a smaller tipper for it. That is totally okay. Either way, I do want to get it, try it out, do some stuff with it, and just kind of enjoy having it. And we'll see if we can make that work for us. First things first, let's get this put away, and let's head down to the store, and let's swap the 72 series that we have. To be completely honest, this thing might be a little bit heavy for this truck puller. I mean, it, it's pulling it just fine. But the weight, the weight is so offset between this truck and this trailer and this tractor. Oh my goodness, we're, we're better off using a flatbed, but none the matter, it is okay, it is what it is, but we've got a new version of this, so we're going to swap out for it. So let's lower that down, and let's see what we can get here. Let's jump in. Bring this down. Now, of course, you see 7250 Pro on the side right there. We've got wides with weights, and we have a three-point hitch on the front. What we're going to do is we're going to trade that, and we're actually going to get something a little bit less powerful. And we're going to trade up the wheels because, well, because we can. That's that's exactly why. And eventually we're going to get a bigger, that's right, we're going to get a bigger John Deere. We're going to run four tractors on the farm. I just don't think it's fair. So let's repair that and let's sell it. There's the first. Okay. Now we need to buy. Where's our buy point? Here it is. Get, get out of my buy point. We want to go down to medium tractors. We're going to go over to the case right there. So configuration, standard, eh. yeah, we're going to stick with those front three point because we're going to use this as a spraying tractor. Exactly. Yeah, we're going to buy a sprayer today. We got to get a fertilizer. So wheel brand, of course, we're going to stick with trailer borgs and we want these weird wheels right here. I want this so bad. It looks so terrible, but I think this looks worse and this looks terrible, like God awful. This is the least worst of all, for me at least. We're going to go with the new front design, and we're going to go with the 7250 non-pro version. That's right, 249 horsepower as opposed to 261. I don't like that pro thing on there. I think it looks meh. So we're going to take it off. We're going to purchase this right now. There we go. We have got it. Now, there's another tractor I want to buy. We're going to hold off at least for now. Oh, man, I forgot to get the uh, sprayer. Let's get a sprayer. <laughs> Crop protection. Now, what do we do here? What do we do? Do we go with this? We have a 21 meter, 24. We go 36. What do we do? What do we do? I think for the fields that we have, it's not going to take very long. So let's go with the 21 and let's go with a front and rear units. There we go. Since we've got the... Uh, that front three-point linkage on there. We are good to go. Ooh, and it sounds so good. Now, there is a problem with this. The further away you go, the decals do go away. But I think, you know, if you're looking at it from afar like this, it kind of gives it a clean look. Ah, well, maybe, maybe I'm just trying to make it seem better than it actually is, which is likely the case. Nonetheless, ha, case, get it. Let me know down in the comment section, what is the big John Deere that you would get? So right now, we've got this, and we have the 6 Ilm as our small tractors. And then we have the larger, much larger actually, uh, the what, Optum? Yeah, the Optum. Let's get this up here. This is going to be quite tricky, but we can do it. Uh, this is going to be the difficult part. Yeah, that's kind of what I was afraid of right there. Uh, we're going to need to fold in the wheel, or fold in the back, but... Yep, 
See, that's the problem. We're not going to be able to get all of this on. Let's see if we can force this off. <laughs> can we just get the, the wheel? No, it's not going to let us do it, is it? Nope, it's going to keep pushing us forward. So this ain't going to work. Let's get that. Bring it off of here. There we go. Uh, this is going to be something that we drive back ourselves. Totally cool. We're just going to have to do it. So let's drive this back. We'll come back and get our tractor, or truck rather. One thing that we will need to do is we're going to have to build a testing area near the shop. And what do I mean by a testing area? Well, when you do videos for mod reviews and stuff like that, you have a test map. And me, I just use whatever Let's Play I'm on as the test map. Because it's guaranteed you've got equipment already. You've got stuff that can help you. So why would you not just do that? Just use that. So that's what I'm thinking about. Using this map as our test map. Unfortunately, he's doing all right. Trying to get all this, uh, all these potatoes plowed up. Goodness gracious, that was a nightmare and a half. We're almost done plowing it up, so that's good. But we need to find an area that is good, nice, and conducive to doing that. As a matter of fact, do we have... Oh, we don't have a fertilizer fill point. Well, you know what? We just got some mods the other day, and I want to use them. So let's use this, and I think let's put it right on the back side here. Let's spin it around, and pow, just like that. That is going to be our liquid fertilizer. Yeah! I love this thing. I really do. I mentioned, I was like, you know what? I wish that I could just keep these on the farm. And here we go. We got them on the farm. Nice and easy. Perfect. So let's see. Let's get that done. That's good. Let's go for the back. Let's fill the back up somehow, some way, shape, or form. There we go. Got it to recognize. Looks like the trigger for it's a little far forward, a little farther forward than you would expect. There we go. Not too shabby. Not too much money. So I did make an oopsie the other day is this going to destroy the crop no i did make an oopsie yesterday i drove through the crop and it did that i'm not proud of it i'm not proud of it at all let's see which fields need what let's go over here to fertilized oh you could tell we were all over this field right here and that needs lime goodness gracious the whole field need lime no just that part odd we're gonna lime everything anyway let's come down here to 22 because these are the sugar beets that we've got and i don't think that they have any fertilization on them whatsoever so before we can get to them i don't think they're ready to be harvested just yet oh, they may be actually we need to jump back in and double check that just to make sure come on don't be ready growing sweet that is good growing is good let's spin this around man this thing sounds incredible that's the really good thing about using machinery like this on fields like this man it sounds good and looks good as well so we've got that let's move over and let's start building our test area so here's the idea for the new area is i'm thinking right here now we're gonna have to buy the land of course but we got a little bit extra cash let's jump in let's see exactly how much this land is going to cost us field five 100 102,000 not awful now, we could buy a couple other plots as well. There's a couple other plots around, but I feel like buying plot seven, see, it's so high up, and it just doop, 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 doop. Something in here, because we can flatten this out and still make it look good for the edge. Now, it's not going to look incredible, but we're going to make it look good just nonetheless. So, let's jump in. Did we buy it? I don't think I bought it. Oh, I didn't buy it. So, field five, let's purchase we got $1.2 million left. Oh, by the way, I bought the John Deere. Yeah, I'll have to show you guys when we're done with this. So let's go over sculpting, and let's run this over here. First things first, what I want to do is I want to find this area right here and flatten it. So we're going to go into here, this tool, and about as close over as we can, and flatten. And... I don't know if this is going to work 100% or not. I mean, I'm sure it will, but there we go. Going out. Yeah, this is working now. This is good. This is good. 
This is the only part, though, is having to take this area and flatten it all out. That just doesn't look quite right, does it? But we can still get out. So let's continue doing this, and then we're going to lay down the ground for it, and we'll be good to go. Well, there we go. It is all done. The area looks awesome. It's perfect. And we got our tractor. Check it out. I went with the John Deere 8400R. We got this awesome, uh, well, it's not a weight. It's more like a, a barrier in the front. Anyway, it's going to keep us from hitting stuff. And then we got the Horse Tiger, was it the 910? Something like that. It's a very cool looking piece of kit. Let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, Horse Tiger 10 LT requires 400 horsepower. I said, you know what? I got that. I got a little bit more than that. And since we're doing beans and corn, baby, beans and corn. Wow, a little bump right there. Beans and corn. I figured this would be perfect. We got quite a few fields that need to be done. We also got a couple fields that need to be limed and fertilized and all that good stuff. Let's take a look. Looks like our guy on 22 has finished. Although, I still haven't done anything with this guy yet. So we've still got to jump up here and do this to it. But, this, this right here, is going very good. Now, since we had corn in that one field previously, what we're going to have to do is put corn over here now. And we're going to have to put our beans down here. Now, the beans we've got... Actually, you know what? We could just spin this thing around. And we're going to do that exact thing right here. Oh... Sorry, dude, in your field, I know. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and cultivate this field down here, because as you know, you cannot direct drill corn, which does stink a little bit, but it is okay, it's fine. I understand it. So let's take this, nice and easy. Let's get this out of the way for a second. We gotta finish this plowing business right here, because the worker still has not finished this. Yes, you. I'm talking about you, Mr. Oh, I don't want to do it. I'm scared of it. <laughs> there we go. Nice and easy, nice and easy. This ought to be easy to do. I'm just going to front and back, forward and back, forward and back. There we go. There's that. Now back it. I'm just going a little bit square right here. It's all right. A little bit forward. Good there. And should be able to hit this last part just fine. There we go. Awesome. So now, let's take our cultivator and let's set this guy on a worker. Let's let them do it to it. Probably going to mess it up, let's be honest. Uh, that's just how the cookie crumbles around here for some reason. Let's get this unfolded. Get to let that little poor innocent car go by. Here we go. And lower down and go. There we are. Cultivation's going down. Actually, you know what? We should have... And eh, we can lime it when we're done. It'll be okay. Nothing wrong with that. We'll lime it, and then we'll plant, and that'll be just fine. So, let this guy go along. Let's finish getting our plowing done. Let's move our fertilizer. Let's see if we got to put fertilizer anywhere else. Well, we got ourselves a lime spreader and a planter of cedar. What do we get? We got the Amazon. Oh, wow. Slow down, baby. Slow down. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's right. They don't... The workers do not like... <laughs> That is the only thing. I hate traffic. I hate in-game traffic. But these guys right here, the workers just put this huge bubble around them. <laughs> Nobody can penetrate. That's awesome. Yeah, this is working okay. That is a huge, huge tractor. My goodness, that is insane. Well, we've got something already over here. Let's check it out. We got, oh yeah, the big breedle. That is exactly what we've got. And we've got the Amazon. We're going to pull up here to the buy anything. I know we can buy seeds and fertilizer with this. Thing is, can we buy both here? There's seeds. That's filled up. Um, I don't think it's going to let us get fertilizer. Unless, is there any button that we can hit? Unfold, lower, turn it on, 
select seed, close cover. Try and close the cover and then reopen the cover. But I think... Hey, there we go. That worked. So, little little tip for you. Get your seed, close the cover, then open it back up and get your fertilizer. That worked really well. A lot better than I thought it was going to. So we've got three of our fields that we've already done up. So let's get rid of this help window here. And we're just going to roll over this field right now. Yeah, yeah. We need beans. Soybeans. Where are the beans? There they are. We are going to plant beans in the field that we had our corn in previously. Now, I'm not sure if this Amazon is quite legit for America or not. If we've got any farmers in the house and you guys know if this is legitimate for the U.S. or not, let me know. Uh, I'm really trying to avoid going all the way up and having to get big buds, but we might have to do that. So let's put this down. And then let's go. We got soybeans, and they are going in the ground. Very, very good. We will have to hit a headland, probably two, just to make sure at least one extra headland at the top, just to make sure that everything goes smoothly, because I know this area, and I know that we are going to have some problems with workers fighting with the traffic. It is what it is. I get it, though. I get it. We also need to start doing, at some point, we need to start doing grass work. Now, we had a couple fields of grass. I'm not down with having that much grass on, on the grass fields. I'll tell you what would be awesome, if we could join, like, maybe these three fields. There's a lot of these fields that we could join together and make a humongous, I mean, make massive fields. I was like, this is struggle busing a little bit. Doot, doot, struggle bus coming through, baby. But nonetheless, we've got our fast farming turned on, but it's not really doing much unless it's flat ground. That's all right. Nothing wrong with that. Should we, now I'm sitting here thinking, should we take not only this field, but that field right there as well? I don't like non-square fields. They're just not my thing. Fortunately for us, that one is kind of squared off, more or less, but still, I'm not quite sure what to do with that one yet. We may plant grass in that one, but I know this field and the field right in front of us are going to be beans. We've got beans here, corns over there. We've got a root crop, and we will have grass over there. We got wheat too. Oh yeah, a little bit of everything. All is good. We are going to have to cycle these crops though. Uh, we will be cycling on and off every other one. Wheat, barley, wheat, barley. Not in the same field, of course. Uh, and then, of course, our soybeans and corn will be swapped as well. So this field will be wheat or barley in the next field, so on and so forth. Each field will have a three-crop rotation. The idea is to get it all planted around the same time so that whenever we're done with planting, we can come through and actually get these things done up right and harvest all at the same time. Kind of mimic seasons, if you will. Um, so that's something we're going to attempt to do, something we're going to try to do. Should be very easy. All we have to do is do it. Speaking of doing it, let's get this guy hired on a worker. This is as far out as I want to go with these headlands. And then let's go buy. Let's take our new John Deere. And let's go down and let's get a brand new planter. Right before we do that, I totally forgot about all of this. We have to do this before we get that planter on here. And they are almost ready to get over here, too. That's the thing. So we need to make sure we get this field done. I'm just going to do, uh, see, I think we could probably... Can we go side to side? Hmm. Yeah. Let's just hire a worker. Let's go side to side. This is going to work just fine. It's going to go in other fields. But that's okay. It's It ain't going to care. Not a bit. Oh, are we going to have a... Oh, I was going to have a duel. We're going to have a duel. Sit down. We're going to have a duel. Oh, man. It's already done. So close. Dang it. We'll duel another day. So I made the executive decision to get something super awesome. So we've gone for the Great Plains. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited to use this thing. Yes. We got corn. Oh, we got corn, baby. It's going in the ground, and it is good. It is all good, man. This area right here, it's, it's all good. You know what it is. So we're going to put this in. Unfortunately, everything that hasn't been limed is at 100%, so we're good. Uh, oh, I forgot if you use the three-point hitch on this thing. It's a little um, <laughs> forgiving, too forgiving even. 
So let's get this lined up first. We're going to have to hit a nice headland. And to keep it straightened up, I'm going to hire a worker to make this happen. Ooh, we got lime all over the wheels. Gotta love that. Man, it looks good. Hire a worker, drop it down. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on. Oh, don't get too far away. I think it'll be all right. So, guys, that is going to be it for today. We've got some new equipment. We've got some awesome equipment, some really cool stuff. Big old John Deere, big old Great Plains Cedar, planter, whatever. Man, very cool. Very cool stuff. Today's been a good day. I appreciate you guys hanging out with us, and I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like. You know, right, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. If you have any comments, say like, hey, that was good, or hey, that was crap. Whatever. Drop them down. Let's get them going, baby. Let's get the conversation started. That being said, hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.